The supermoon is leading to some king tides today, and that could mean some flooding around the Bay Area. KPIX5's John Ramos shows us how sea level rise could affect us in the long run. Today's king tide raised the water level in the bay by about a foot, but it also raised concerns about what sea level rise could mean for the future. We are here today to see the king tides. Um, and this really helps us visualize the future flooding risks in the county. San Mateo County officials held a king tide viewing party at Oyster Point Marina to highlight the importance of planning for the long range effects of sea level rise. Experts believe the water could raise two to five inches by 2030. A rising sea is nothing new. The level of the bay has risen about eight inches in the last century. But we've also seen that the rate has tripled since 1990. At that rate, sea levels are expected to rise up to two feet by 2100, and that would flood a lot more than just a parking lot. Our transportation system, our electrical substations, our wastewater treatment plant, our pump stations, this is what we call networked infrastructure, and it's all connected to each other. With a two-foot rise, even San Francisco International Airport and Highway 101 would potentially be underwater if a storm should hit during a king tide. The county is already pursuing projects up and down the coast to minimize storm surges. But 20 or 30 years down the line, when we see more and more of rising water, then the impacts are going to move inland. That's when buildings will start flooding. The county has begun requiring new developments to be placed on eight-foot higher land bases, but what about those already here? No one has yet figured out how to keep them dry when the ocean decides to rise up. In San Mateo County, John Ramos, KPIX 5.